so just finished my first run of official marathon training um the first like four weeks are not anything exciting because um the distance is really low lower than i currently am have been running i'm gonna stick exactly to the schedule just to have like some chill runs and then build it up just so that it's like an actual schedule um but literally till like week four and a half or something like that is only up to like 10k which makes sense because that's like whatever i can, Ugh. I can already run up to like week four and a half pretty easily so we're gonna start here anyway though we're gonna go with it um the best part is is that because i live in canada and not the states um like most of the world we use the metric system here so we use kilometers so i took a running schedule that i liked and i changed it into kilometers even though it was in miles like i took the time to calculate all the ones and like write it down in kilometers instead but then the freaking treadmills at the gym use miles anyway and i don't know how to change it if there's a way to change it i don't know what it is so it's in miles anyway so i guess i will just go with the regular schedule and not even worry about my kilometer one that i made I just keep it anyway for side reference because like I I know how much a mile is but I'm so used to kilometers that I can't that's my car putting my phone in Bluetooth um, I know how much a mile is but it, it's not like the same I want to know how many kilometers it is even if it's in miles so like today I ran three miles which is 4.8 kilometers um, so 4.8 kilometers actually means something to me whereas three miles um, is more arbitrary like I can't really Put that into visualization so that's that um i wanted to film more in the gym but also that's awkward and i'm awkward and it was my first time in literally ever going to a gym i don't like going to the gym i don't like being inside i don't like running on the treadmill i don't like being around other people when i work out so that's fun so i didn't want to film but maybe when i get more comfortable i will film some more in the gym just for kicks you know like just why not um, yeah, so you're gonna get like 10 seconds of my feet and that's probably it. So Yeah, anyway, that is all I'm gonna go home now. I'm sitting in the parking lot still um, I probably am only gonna put a vlog out like once a week now Maybe so that I can do like a summary of the whole week because there's not really much to say in between right like you just I did a run Yay, good job. So I'll probably put a vlog out once a week like um, saying how far I ran each day maybe in the description um, or maybe I'll talk about it or something I'm just rambling now this is almost three minutes of me saying basically nothing anyway that's about all I'll see you later okay bye <laughs> so I just got out of the shower after my second gym run again very low mileage these first few weeks is just to get into the schedule of things um, forgot my running socks so I had to run in like mid shin high socks I rolled them down but they were like really thick so that was fun my feet were very warm and toasty which is better than cold I suppose but um, I need to get used to it's like weird going somewhere to run and not having everything that I might need like if I forget my headphones in the car, I can mean I can go get them from the car, but like I forgot my socks at home. So like I wasn't going to go home just to come back to get my socks. So it's weird like not being at home where all my stuff is. And then it's weird finishing a run and not just being like at home and being able to jump in the shower. It's a weird thing for me. Um, we still don't like the treadmill, but I did download an episode of a show on Netflix to watch today. Um, I Zombie. So that was fun. Um, yeah, that's all the updates for today. Ooh. So this framing isn't great, but it's the only way that I can get it to work while I'm in the car so I'm not holding it myself because that's illegal. Um, but I'm on my way to the gym now and I knew that this was going to happen because it's just how I am, but I knew that the weekend drives were going to be, or the weekend runs were going to be more difficult because when it's during the week, I just go to work and then I go to the gym on my way home. So it's just a whole thing, we just do it all together and it's fine, but on the weekend, you don't have like as much of a schedule. So like today, I went to the barn with Jamie, my roommate. And then we went home 
obviously. And then I had to get myself to get up and go out again, which is where the trouble lies, right? It's also really cold out. Well, cold for this time of year. I'm cold, basically. So going to the barn and being outside all day, or all morning, and then going home and then going to the gym means that I was already cold from being out at the gym at the barn and then I had to go out again even though I was still cold so um, we're making our way now I am determined to not skip any days because what's the point in training if you skip days right but I'm just interested to see if I can actually keep it up for the entire schedule without skipping days obviously that's the plan we'll see how it goes to the gym Just getting home from the gym. Really short run today for Sunday, only two miles, so I ran it super, super fast. And um, it's dinner time now, so here we go. Anyway, that is it for this week. Uh, all in all, pretty good. Nobody died. Didn't skip any runs. Um, kind of getting used to the treadmill with my Netflix downloads. Um. Yeah, next week is going to be about the same, not really doing much other than work and running. And after that it gets a little complicated because going back to Toronto and then going skiing and then going to Chicago. So uh, we'll have to try a little harder to keep up then. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.